Hi, everybody. I'm Tamson Fidel, and thank you so much for joining us for the 2021 Matrix Awards. This year, the New York Women in Communication platform, Hashtag Women Heard, spearheaded a national research study on how COVID-19 has affected so many women in the workplace. Partnering with the Meredith Corporation, Foot Cone Belding, Engine and Bloomberg Media to uncover the extent of mental financial impacts on family and women in communication during the pandemic from a lack of child care to the changing job market, and also, of course, mental health. The Women Heard initiative was launched in the hope that providing tangible and vital data to industry leaders would inspire honest dialogue and real change. I'm really honored to be kicking us off with our first Women Heard segment, and it's a subject that is especially dear to me and all the women of New York Wiki. I'm gonna be discussing the drastic effect the pandemic really has had on the job market, and in particular, what it's meant for our emerging graduates. And we're lucky to have a Matrix Scholarship winner alum working right with us here at WPIX, Katie Corrado. Katie is usually one of our morning reporters. So Katie, it's good to see you. Let's go ahead and talk though, first of all, of how you ended up being a New York Wiki Scholarship winner. I was a high school senior. I was looking for college scholarships and I literally Googled women communications, New York City scholarships and Google spit out New York Women in Communications. It's not even an understatement to say that it changed my life. It gave me this network that I never had before. Also joining Katie and I are two of this year's New York Wiki Scholarship winners and current students, Amanda Gordon and Yamila Martinez. Hello ladies, thanks so much for being with us. So we'll start with you. How about you tell us a little bit about yourselves? So glad to be here with you. I'm Yamila Martinez and I am from New York City. I study here in New York. Uh, I just graduated from Baruch Manhattan Community College, and right now I'm starting my studies at Hunter College, and I'm studying journalism and education. I am from upstate New York, right outside of Albany, um, but I'm currently a senior at NYU studying film and television production. And what has this COVID college experience really been like for all of you? It is hard for any of us to imagine certainly what you've been going through this past 18 months. COVID hit uh, kind of in the middle of my sophomore year. So it was nice to have like a year and a semester of normal times, but it was definitely pretty difficult for like the past like year and a half um, doing school online, especially in a major that's super hands-on like film production. Um, but luckily we're back on campus now and I'm honestly just really happy to at least have the last year in person. It was a little bit tricky. Uh, from in-person classes to online classes. I had to adapt myself to everything. Everything was really new for me. Uh, but I think that I was able to get a lot of support from the college that I was studying, and that helped me a lot to navigate. So here's an interesting point. The Women Heard report found that women's jobs are 1.8 times more vulnerable to this crisis than men's, accounting for 54% of total jobs lost. And understandably, as a result, women graduating with degrees, especially in the communication field, are facing more stress and greater challenges entering this job market than their male counterparts. Is it something you've noticed recently? Honestly, what changed for me was that I didn't really want to graduate early anymore because I was kind of like, uh, you know, the job market is pretty iffy out there. So there's not really a need to rush into graduating anymore. So I'm pretty glad that I'm just taking the full four years. I'm also wondering, what does the job search look like now? There's this persistence that you have to have that I have not seen before, where you have to be okay with applying for 40, 50 jobs, maybe going on half a dozen interviews and hoping that something pans out. It, it's, it's so challenging. I found networking to actually get a tiny bit easier because now it's so kind of common to do it online and you don't really need to meet someone in person which like you can kind of meet anyone and at different times um, people are kind of more flexible if they're at home um, so i found it it's like pretty helpful to network in that virtual setting all right we are out of time but what a great conversation thank you so much ladies for joining me amanda yamila congratulations on your scholarship and i wish you all the best of luck